Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Hi, Mick the Beard. And we are at Bloodstock Festival and I am with Octoberfile. Hi, up. Hello. You're playing later on today, yeah? I'm playing at 10 to 7 on the Sophie Lancaster stage, yeah. Great stuff. And um, how did this all come about then? Because uh, I don't think you've played here before, have you? We're Sorry? Have you played here before? Well, we, did, we were booked to play last year, but our singer had, after the Fear Factory tour, had a hernia problem. So and then we put it off for ages and ages and ages, and he just had to have his operation, so we had to blow it out, sadly, so we're playing this year. But uh, some Labour mates of ours went to Phil filled in last year, and they did a sterling job. <laughs> And uh, are you looking forward to playing at the Sophie Lancaster? At least it's going to be undercover, so if it pisses it down, you might get a good audience. Totally. I think, to be honest, we are so up for this, it's unbelievable. And then we just did Metal Camp a couple of weeks ago, and I think we kind of owe, we kind of feel we owe Bloodstock a good tear-up tonight, actually. So we're kind of, what we do is really angry anyway, and we're very angry people, although they're very pleasant. But uh, we're going to show our inner anger later when we assault them. Yeah, we weren't really up for it. Yeah. And what uh, have you got on offer for people at the moment? Have you got a new album out? Uh, well, our third album was out last year called Our Souls to You. And our souls to you, meaning our souls to you. <laughs> and uh, we've got sadly only one track written. Uh, well, that's kind of the joke. It's kind of anti-religious yeah. thing, you know. And uh, we've got uh, one new track called "I Fuck the Day" written for the new record, which is a concept town we're doing. So we're going to be playing that tonight. But that's the first of the new stuff. So we've been kind of busy preparing for a lot of festivals and doing a lot of stuff this year. So I think as soon as this one's finished, we're going to get some writing done before we do the Candlelight Festival tour in November. Yeah. And uh, what's lined up after that? Have we got, I mean, are you going to break for the Christmas or have you got more yeah, stuff well, going on? Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to try and get some writing done and then uh, next year we're going to start planning next year, which I think we've got, uh, been offered a tour of China, maybe some shows in India, and we just, I think there's a lot of festivals been offered already for next year, so we'll pretty much do the same as we're doing this year, but probably a little bit more of it, and we'll do it, hopefully do a new record. And where would you say is the most unusual place you've been to so far? Wales. <laughs> 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 Definitely Wales, yeah. Uh, the most unusual place? Slovenia, I Slovenia, suppose. Slovenia, I guess, yeah. 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 It was, I mean, we played this year, and we played a couple of years ago there, and we did the main stage at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and it was just so hot. It was. We literally walked off stage just drenched, sodden, and it was pretty unbearable, to be honest. I mean, it was very hard to kind of... I mean, when you're on stage and you kind of you really want to enjoy yourself and kind of get into it, we were into it, but it was just... It was really hard work. I mean, it's like trying to play a gig in a sauna. Yeah, it was really hard work, but, I mean... You can only do what you do, but I mean, everything just melted, including us, you know, so. Yeah. And what do you guys do to relieve the boredom on tour? I mean, is there a joker in the band that sort of keeps you all up? <laughs> no, we're all, just despite the music, we're all pretty uh, pretty upbeat people, actually, pretty chirpy chickens. That side of it's our therapy, I suppose. <laughs> so there are pretty much four of us that are jokers, yeah. I mean, all our lyrics are pretty political and anti religious. I mean, it's kind of, so we kind of vent our anger with that kind of thing. But I mean, generally, I think we're pretty cheap, chirpy chappies, really. It's a wonderful planet, we enjoy being on it. We've got plenty of material this last few weeks, I think, to write about. <laughs> It's funny because one of the songs in the set tonight, uh, a public display of anger, is about a riot, but it's from the other perspective of a riot, of like being absolutely scared to death of, you know, the human barbarity. So it's kind of very poignant tonight, really, and I think what's what's happened is disgusted everybody because I think not to too, put too fine a point on it, I think that, that there was no agenda or any political agenda or anything. And you can see that, I mean, I fully support people's... Uh, well, you know, anger at like, frustration of, their, of, of the kind of situation they're living in or, or about a political point and they want to change the world for a better place. But I think, sadly, and much to my country's disgrace, that wasn't about that. And I think that public display of anger tonight will, be, as I said, be very poignant to us because I think anybody in their right mind that's a civilised person can't condone that type of violence. I mean, a 90-year-old woman getting beaten up in the street, a 68-year-old guy beaten defenceless simply because he was defending his home. And I, think, I think that's just dystopian. I think it's a shame on Britain and it's disgusting. And if they added an agenda, that's just put it out of the window anyway, aren't it? Yeah, I mean, there's a way of there's a way of putting your, your point across, and you know, I think that, and you know, and I think as it did disagree with any form of violence when you're trying to do that, and I think a lot of our albums about that, you know, of course about extremity with religion, and, and I think the pointlessness of the delusion of religion, and I think that if you you know if you've got a religion, as far as I'm concerned, I think as far as I'm concerned, as a citizen of the planet, is that you know you, you've got a right to be here and everything, and, and whatever you've got a problem with or anything, I don't think you can just take it out and innocent people have got nothing to do with it. I think you can. I mean, the civilized way to do that is discuss it. Around a table, we have that system. It might not be the best system in the world, but it's at least a peaceable and civilized one. And you're and you live in a country where you're allowed to say it. People died in the beaches of D-Day, which I admire and respect. They're on, and honor them for the, for their sacrifice. I mean, people that were 17 and 19 years old died in battlefields of Europe to defeat fascism and Nazism. And you just get out in the street and act in the same barbaric way that the Nazis did, as far as I'm concerned. So I think it's just, as I said, it's a disgrace on Britain. Fancy running for prime minister? Sorry? You fancy running for prime minister? I wish we could. I wish we could find someone who was. Uh, 
uh, who cared about his country as much as we do. And I don't think it's a bad thing to care about your planet and your people, whether it might not be metal or anything else. But I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, as I said, I'm a citizen of the planet and I'm a civilised human being. And I think we could all get along a lot better if we simply respected each other more. Great stuff. And is there is something, what would you say to people who are coming to an October file show, what they're, what they're likely to expect and what you like to come, a load, put across? A, a right load of self-righteous anger. Because I mean, I think, you know, as I said, we go on stage and it is our catharsis. I mean, it is, we write songs that matter to us and it is, it is a, a point that we're trying to make, you know. It's not, you know, you don't have to, I mean, we're not preaching to anybody, we're just saying this is how we feel about it, so, you know. And it's not all political. I mean, there is some personal lyrics in there as well. But again, it's kind of it's kind of about the, you know the, the hardship of you know being a human being in a kind of pretty crazy fucked up planet, really. And uh, contact detail. I mean, are you on a MySpace? Sorry, sorry to go on about. Pretty much the in the same band, in the same way that bands like Discharge and Killing Joke and Neurosis have, and Godflesh have seriously influenced our music and our outlook. Pretty much the same as them, really. So you know, oh, right. I mean, they're our main influences, I guess. So you know. And where can people find it? You, do you do your own MySpace, or is it that combined? MySpace. No one's on MySpace. Well, Where have you been living? <laughs> Facebook now, isn't it? But still, bands still do use MySpace. I've seen quite a few bands. Well, good luck to them. No one's looking at it. <laughs> My we what? Have, we have got a MySpace and Facebook. Ah, and, uh, yeah, but the thing is, we haven't. I don't think we've even updated our MySpace since like 1978. I don't think we've updated mine for years. Yeah. I mean, no, I think Facebook's probably the main contact. We're at the on moment. Facebook, and if you put in www.octoberfile.com, you'll find our website. Is it you guys that do it? Yeah, but I mean, we've got a guy who does it. That's part of the, you know, a friend of the band. So. Yeah. So that, you know, they don't just get fobbed off if they got. And all our information is on our label website, which is Candlelight Records as well. So. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. So you got a final message for the people who are looking at you out there? Well, just uh, hopefully, if you're watching today, hopefully you really, really enjoy the show. And if you've not checked us out, it'd be really nice if you did. And if you like our music, good. And if you don't, we'll live with that. Look in the press for the tours and come and watch these guys. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. May God have mercy on your soul.